Great River Learning is the first of its kind, a higher education company dedicated to the digital experience. The seed of that idea that would blossom into GRL was sowed here at 4050 Westmark Drive. With over six decades of publishing experience in the print realm, we looked to the internet as a new and promising space for growth. The internet at the turn of the 21st century was still a niche medium, vast in its promise and ready to be harnessed into a superior learning tool. Enter Great River Learning and its founders, the people who first thought beyond the book. They pioneered the creation of a platform that leverages the best features of the internet, its versatility, its openness, its ability to present information in a variety of ways to create fulfilling academic experiences for students and educators alike. In 2005, the mission was established. Use our proprietary platform content, formerly known as Webcom, to meet students where they are, online. We engage students in a fresh way with relevant and up-to-date materials, combining traditional text narrative with video and audio supplements to create truly multi-sensory experiences. It was the visionary move. 16 years later, Great River Learning is thriving. Every day we craft better experiences for more students than ever before. Our success then and today is due to our proven developmental approach, the dedication of our people and the like-minded publishing partners we've met along the way. So what is it? What makes the GRL approach so effective? I would say it's the partnerships that we create with our authors. Um, the authors uh, tell us that uh, quite a bit, that the way we work with them, the way we talk with them, the way we interact, the way we conduct meetings with them, it's very different than other publishers. So I would have to take the answer to that question that our authors give us is we, we form great partnerships. One of the things that makes the GRL approach so effective is our communication with our authors. We start in constant communication and that goes through the entire process. So long before Zoom was the thing to do because of COVID, that was our mode of operation every day. And so once I'm introduced to an author, I'm meeting with them every other week so that the authors understand what's happening and if we need to maybe adjust things, we can do it because we're on top of it. It's the services. I think GRL provides a one-of-a-kind service. They create engaging products for students, which ultimately helps instructors grow in their industry and position. All of the authors don't have to just use a form. They don't have to just use something that was created for them in their classroom, but then they have to go and supplement with other materials that they've found elsewhere. With every one of my authors, every instructor, and in some cases many of the students, uh, by being able to go in and correct their issue, answer their question myself, I believe that we are able to provide the best service and get back to them within a very timely manner. It's the way we work together. What makes us the most effective is that we have the appropriate team members within each team who can work together efficiently and effectively. Each team member's journey to GRL and higher publication was unique. Well, my GRL story. My GRL story. Well, my GRL story. Some began as interns. My GRL story is I started as an intern and I was working with a number of my colleagues now and what's pretty cool about that is I now oversee part of the internship program so I think that's pretty cool. Others with our sister company. My GRL story starts in 1999 when I was an intern for Kendall Hunt in the Production Services Department now known as the Publishing Solutions Department. Um, through that experience, I was able to become involved with a particular need that needed to be fulfilled when print books were becoming obsolete and we needed to look at more interactive web-based uh, learning for those students. All found their way to success with Great River Learning. My GRL story began in 2005 as a founding member of Great River Learning. In my current role at Great River Learning, I am an author relations coordinator. And with that role, I work with a number of our authors to ensure that their titles are serving the needs of themselves and their students as education and times change. In the past year, it's been especially exciting being able to work with authors to help them make adjustments to make things work in changing times. I started with GRL nine years ago, and I started as a web project editor. Um, this was my first job out of college and so a few years later a design position opened up 
and I was eventually offered the position and I've been a part of the design team ever since. And all are driven by the twin values of improvement and progress. I wanted to help put words on paper or for people to read, kind of help change their life, change their education that way, and I feel like I really get to do that here at GRO. In my role right now, I am still working with authors on a regular basis, uh, helping them conceptualize what their project is all about, establishing a reasonable scope for that first edition, setting up a schedule for that first edition, and then working with our internal teams here to address any hiccups or challenges that come up and make sure that what we're doing is meeting the author's expectations for the publication and ultimately uh, developing a publication that serves the students' educational needs. Ultimately, we knew there was a better way to help our authors provide for the needs of their modern students. At GRL, when we saw there was a better way, we made it happen. At GRL, when we saw there was a better way, we typically figured out a way to build the better textbook by rethinking how content should be laid out on the page. We took advantage of the opportunity. We created highly engaging online publications and we use technology and multimedia to create um, educational content for all students. We recognized that the printed text was a static, unchanging, non-interactive, non-engaging in a lot of cases resource for educators and students. We recognized that there was all this information out there and instead of trying to recreate the wheel, what if we brought all of that content to bear on the student when the student needed it? Even when the world was changing around us. At GRL, we saw that there was a better way when COVID-19 hit. Many of my authors that I work with were all of a sudden faced with the fact of going from either a face-to-face -face scenario to an online when they had never even taught online. I think what helped us to be flexible was that we could change things quickly, we were fluid, and in some cases I was able to provide consulting to those authors who had never taught online. We kept improving and evolving. One of the things that I really like is that at GRL, when we see there's a better way or we have an idea of a better way to work on things, we can voice our opinions and they're heard or our ideas. And oftentimes it turns into a collaboration that what you might have originally thought was the idea turns into something else and is better than what you even imagined to start with. Whether that's our processes as to how we create our publications or even to enhancements that are made to the platform. We each did it for our own reasons. For me at GRL, there's no better feeling than when I get to show an author their publication for the first time, their very first chapter, and their face just lights up in excitement because of how amazing the chapter looks and that it just does exactly what they need it to do. And the best part is, is a lot of times they never even imagined that it would look that good and it would do those things. There's no better feeling than when we fulfill an author's vision. When we get ready to launch the publication for the first time and just the realization that I see with my authors that, wow, I did this, I am a published author. They're just so thrilled how it all comes together and continues to keep going on because once they're launched, it doesn't stop there. It continues to evolve and improve over the semesters to come. There's no better feeling than when one of our authors, instructors, or students even, approaches us and lets us know that we made a difference. So for us at GRL, there's no better feeling than when an instructor uh, or an author, an educator, a student lets us know that the publications are doing their job. Uh, they're solving administrative uh, or instructional issues for the educators uh, in, in the front of the classroom and they're providing the information and the reinforcement that students need in order to do well in the course. So when we get that feedback, uh, either anecdotally from the instructors or the students, or a letter from an author or an instructor, uh, an email, uh, a voicemail message, whatever it is, 
whenever we, we get that feedback that it's having the impact that we want, that's a great feeling. This is the process, and these are the people that make GRL the successful company it's become. Some acquire partnerships, others consult directly with our authors. Together they craft an interactive and accessible experience for students across the continent. We don't just build websites or move text from point A to point B. We streamline the process of printing and serve as supporters, guides, and consultants for our authors and their students. Why do we do it? I really feel like I'm a part of something special and I'm excited to see where things are going to continue to go and to grow. I do what I do because I know that it has an impact on education and student success. Why do I do what I do? Um, I would have to say I do what I do to try to be better than I was the day before because uh, I'm, I'm a big believer in lifelong learning and I think that that is a, a huge uh, a huge approach to my life and uh, that's what I do what I do. I think I've always been a very creative person and for me graphic design just seemed to fit. Um, when I was in school I was contemplating doing architecture and it just it just seemed like graphic design was a better fit for me and then even diving deeper uh, web design has been just such a learning role. I've just learned so much along the way and I honestly didn't even take any web design courses in school so it was really exciting for me to be able to basically teach myself how to do this web design with the help of the other design members. Um, I talk with people all over the country and um, it, it broadens my perspective on their personal lives, uh, on their educational experience, you know, how they teach students that I'm able to then turn around and provide that insight to, to other uh, authors and educators. I do what I do as an author relations coordinator to ensure that each author, each instructor, and each student has the best experience. Sometimes that's not always easy when we're faced with technology challenges or even just comfort level with technology. But I do that because at the end of the day, I do believe we are making a difference for these students and that we are the most effective way to teach today's higher education student. And we'll do it again tomorrow. Make sure they understand how awesome we are. <laughs>